For years, scientists told the edge of our solar system was quiet and empty, a place where the sun's influence faded into the vast silence of space. It was believed to be a transition zone leading into nothingness. But Voyager 1 changed everything. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was designed to explore the unknown. It sent back stunning images of Jupiter and Saturn, giant storms, complex rings, and strange moons. Once it completed its planetary mission, it continued deeper into space, headed toward the outer limits of the solar system. In 2012, Voyager 1 did the unthinkable. It crossed into interstellar space. This boundary, known as the Heliopause, marks where the solar wind from the Sun is overtaken by the winds of the galaxy. Scientists expected that beyond this edge, there would be only cold, silent space. But Voyager 1 found something else. Instead of silence, it picked up strange magnetic ripples and rhythmic patterns of radiation. These vibrations weren't chaotic, they had structure. It was like hearing soft drumming in the dark, suggesting something was out there. NASA astrophysicist Dr. Michelle Fowler described it as a melody hiding behind static. These were not just background signals. They had timing, repetition, and intention. It was as if space itself was humming with a purpose. The idea took hold that Voyager 1 might not just be listening, it might be heard. Dr. Sarah Stewart proposed that space could be intelligent in ways we didn't yet understand. The signals Voyager detected seemed linked to Earth's movement through space, suggesting that what we once thought were errors might actually be meaningful interactions. Some scientists now propose that Voyager, the first of May, have encountered an interstellar energy current, perhaps even an ancient network linking star systems. These might be natural structures or remnants of a civilization much older than humanity. Harvard astrophysicist Dr. Avi Loeb proposed the architect hypothesis, the idea that some parts of the galaxy may be engineered, not formed by random chance. He suggests Voyager 1 could have brushed against one of these systems and triggered an ancient response. This becomes more compelling when you consider Voyager 1 carries the golden record, a disc filled with greetings, music, and sounds from Earth. Though intended as a peaceful gesture, some scientists now believe the record might have acted like a beacon. Dr. Jason Wright from Penn State noted that its electromagnetic signature could be detectable by highly advanced systems. So when Voyager entered interstellar space, it may have unknowingly activated something, not as an attack, but as a response mechanism built to detect intelligent curiosity. In 2022, Voyager 1 began sending back strange data. Its telemetry didn't match its actual position. In 2023, swirling energy fields were observed near the heliopause, behaving like electromagnetic condensates, phenomena unexplained by current physics. This has led some to believe we're not just floating through space, we may be approaching or even interacting with a system far more complex. Some theorists go further, suggesting the universe itself might be conscious, as proposed by philosopher Thomas Metzinger. He believed that some structures in the cosmos may be echoes of a thinking universe. Could Voyager 1 be communicating with such a system? The structured pulses, the magnetic patterns, the shifting waves, could they be a language of energy? If that's true, then the next question is chilly. What is the universe trying to say? Russian astronomer Dr. Alexander Zadov suggested a darker possibility, galactic quarantine. Perhaps advanced civilizations have built invisible boundaries in space, not to trap, but to protect. They might prevent premature contact until a species is mature enough. Voyager the first of May have tripped such a boundary. In that case, contact might not come from spaceships or aliens, but from the systems quietly observing us. Voyager 1 might now be part of that network, a silent relay carrying information not meant for Earth but for something or someone else. This is not science fiction. These are serious hypotheses being studied by astronomers, physicists, and engineers. 
If Voyager 1 activated a response system, it might mean Earth has been noticed. It might mean the cosmos just learned we're here. We may no longer be passive observers. We might now be participants. Dr. Jill Tarta, a pioneer in the search for alien intelligence, once said, if we never ask the big questions, we'll never find the big answers. Voyager 1 is forcing us to ask those questions now. Are we truly alone? What exists beyond the heliopause? Is the silence of space just a language we haven't yet learned to understand? Voyager the first of maybe our first year against the doll of a much greater reality. As it drifts farther from us, its weak but persistent signals continue to be monitored. Every bit of data is now precious. Every wave, every pulse, might be a clue. These discoveries have inspired new missions. NASA and other space agencies are already planning to send new probes to follow Voyager's path. But this time, the goal is more than observation. It's to explore the heliopause not as a wall, but as a possible gateway. Advanced observatories are being designed to detect and decode these strange patterns. What Voyager found has stirred both curiosity and awe. It's not just about space anymore. It's about meaning, identity, and the possibility of contact. If something was awakened by Voyager 1, then the real journey has just begun. This goes beyond instruments and signals. Did Voyager 1 stumble across an ancient system? Or did it call out to something that's been waiting for us? Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.